Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl SJ here, and today we are going to be doing lasagna. Oh, not just any kind of lasagna, just any kind of lasagna instead. <laughs> so, what you're going to need is you're going to need some sausage, some ground beef. I got the 80% lean. I was going to get the sirloin one, but um, yeah, I didn't like the way it looked. And we're going to use tomato basil sauce. It's got a really good flavor. Use some cottage cheese. We're going to mix up some cheese. I like sour cream in mine, so we're going to do sour cream. And then they have the oven-ready lasagna, because that's what the store serves. <laughs> so we got mushrooms, onions. We got some cilantro. Love that flavor. And some green onion. By the way, I asked someone to clean up the cut up the green onion do you realize this is all they cut up was the white part guilty no <laughs> okay so all this green stuff was missing all right when you get green onion what do you get green onion to do have green onion most people usually ask about oh what well, do i add the white okay i said do yeah cut the white i ain't know he wasn't going to cut the green <laughs> And we also are doing minced garlic. So I cooked and cooked up my hamburger and my sausage and drained it. And then I decided to add some mushrooms. And then I added some tomato basil sauce. Now how many of you all put a little bit of water in there and squish it around and get all the remaining sauce off of there? So now I'm just going to let it simmer for a little bit. And then what I do is I wash my lasagna off, my lasagna noodles, these things here. And then what I do is I start layering them in the pan. And of course it didn't fill that in down there, so I just turned it sideways to make it work. But I do wash them first, just so I can get the little extra sauce starch off of it. Okay, so on top of the noodles, I didn't put a layer of the meat sauce so that way it'll help cook the last layer of uh, lasagna noodles then I'm gonna add some low-fat cottage cheese and I guess it doesn't have to be low-fat it could be the regular kind I don't I think the curds is smaller for me uh, as long as it says small curds I don't I don't mind I don't want the large curds now this is when you can substitute the ricotta I choose not to because I want this. I like this better than ricotta cheese. For ricotta cheese would be like for those that don't like uh, blue cheese crumbles, which I have some of them and I'll add them also. So now you'll go ahead and wash some more lasagna noodles and then layer them again with lasagna noodles. Now you can also layer it with cheese as well. Okay, so I wash my lasagna noodles and I push them down because I'm gonna need some room. And then you add your cheese. I'm gonna be using Colby Jack. And you can add a, you can add as much as you want. You know how cheesy you might want it to be. Now this is also a good time to, uh, if you want to season it, you want to go ahead and pull out your seasoning. Like, you know, like Parmesan, I mean not Parmesan, but like uh, parsley, stuff like that. I used a whole bag and it was a three cup bag. Now I'm gonna take my parsley. And sprinkle it. And then another layer of meat. And then after this layer of meat, I'll add my sour cream in. Okay, so here I've added the parsley, and then I decided to add everything but the bagel on top. 
plastic. Now this is the last layer. So you'll start putting your lasagna noodles on top. Now usually by the time you get to this layer, you are probably out of lasagna noodles. So it's up to you if you wanna go ahead and add any more or open up another box, which I'm gonna go ahead and open up another box. So I'll get one here and then I'll do up there. All right, so I finished putting the rest of the lasagna noodles on here and then I put what I had left of the meat. Now, if by chance you run out of meat, you can put a little bit more sauce because you want your lasagna noodles on top to get done and not be crispy. Now, you can add your cheese now, but I like to add my cheese at the very end of the cooking. So that way, it'll be a gooey, melty cheese. Now, the last thing I'm gonna add is some crumbled blue cheese. Just gonna put a little bit in there because I actually, I like the way this tastes. A lot of people don't like it because it's basically fermented cheese, but I'm sorry, I like it. And if it melts right, shit, it tastes really good. <laughs> All right, so then you wanna put this in the oven. I usually cook it on 350 for either 45 minutes to an hour. The ideal is just to make sure your lasagna noodles get soft because everything else is technically cooked. You're just mixing it all together. I think that should do it for now. So when it comes out the oven, and I did, might not have told you to put some aluminum foil on it. I do it just so it cooks better. But here's what you got. And then add the cheese. Yeah. Mm, and then let it and then when you just put the lid back on it oh looks like you stuck it back in the oven and all you did was just put the aluminum foil top down on it there you go lasagna